SwitchageCroatianSports.com. I'm here in Indian Wells, California with Australian legend Mark Woodford. Uh, Mark, you know that you're famous in Croatia for the little incident that happened between you and Goran Imanisevic. Uh, what's going on between you and Goran? You know, I, that is so surprising. I am shocked that, that it's... Um, I mean, it was so long ago, but I, I just remember that we had a few words to say about each other after a match at the US Open and probably more in jest. I mean, I, I don't have a, a problem with Goran, but uh, I'm led to believe otherwise that maybe there was a, a, a big sensation about that match. Well, I know that you said that he was all serve and then he said that you're, you have a crappy backhand and then it kind of went back and forth. Kind of honesty, right? How come you lost? And I said, well, because he serves too good. I mean, uh, you know, if he serves well, he's going to beat me. And if he doesn't serve well, then I've got a, probably a better chance of winning. And uh, kind of I thought that was being uh, you know, honest and open. But I remember afterwards, they, I think the media played it out to him. And, and he said was very open and honest as well and said, yeah, well, I just will serve to Woodford's crappy backhand, which is the truth as well, <laughs> because my backhand was nowhere near as good as my forehand. So um, uh, I know that we had to play each other I think within a couple of weeks, and there was a bit of, bit of media attention given to that match, and I know I ended up winning that particular match, um, and probably the same could be said. He didn't have a good serving day, and I ended up winning. That's the reason why. Um, but yeah, I, look, I, I, Goran and I, you know, I'd like to think that we're pretty good mates, and uh, was pleased to welcome him to Adelaide to uh, he and Marin Cilic. We're supposed to pair up in our tournament, the World Tennis Challenge, in uh, this past January. So Marin, unfortunately, was injured. Goran still came down and played, and uh, it was fantastic to see him there. And, and hopefully we can have both of them back in years to come. So has Goran ever mentioned anything about the interviews? Has he, have you guys ever actually like talked about it, You know, laughed about it? I, I think... Um, I don't know. It's probably probably one of those that y you know you just were aware of what each other said and you just leave it at that. I mean, it was, I, you, you know, I'm, I might have to go and find it <laughs> and say. But, um, you know, it was probably probably one of those things that you, you know was left really untouched at, at the time. And um, I don't know maybe maybe it should be <laughs> that way. So if we CroatianSports.com set up a friendly match between you and Goran, would you accept? <laughs> Yes, I, maybe would that settle the score? Because my backhand's got a whole lot worse. I've seen him serve, and he still serves unbelievably well. I know my backhand's got a, really bad. <laughs> How do you like your chances? What, what are the odds? My, my chances are probably next to zero right now. Um, I, I like my chances when I was when, <laughs> when I was playing back in in the 1990s. Uh, I, I think uh, he could probably play right-handed and, and beat me now. So you're still willing to accept the challenge, though, even though you're going to embarrass yourself. You know, Goran, come on. Let's get out there. Let's have a game together and see uh, we, we can settle this, right? All right. Let's do it. There you go. Croatian Sports Nation, let's do it.